Okay, so that is done. Now there's a beautiful hand, and I'm going to show you how to clean it. Right, here we have a nice pair of dirty hands. Now the oil will not do your hands any harm whatsoever. If anything, it will probably do some good. But to get your hands clean, we want some nice soil. Any soil, any soil in the garden, just rub your hands in the soil. Rub the soil in. Nice natural product again. Rub it in where, where all the oil was. And you've got just a nice muddy pair of hands. You go to your water bucket. Give them a nice wash. The only thing is, it doesn't clean the nails. There we are. Mm. Nice clean hands. But I can't get it into the fingernails. You have to do that separately. This is the fence uh, a week later. As you can see, the oil has soaked into the fence and we're getting back to the more natural wood colour. But it will never ever go back to its natural colour. It is touch dry now. It's not going to um, stop the children or you rubbing up against it because none, none of it's going to come off. Um, the other thing is that you can see from here where the oil went went down on on the uh, plants and really gave them a good soaking it has not affected the plants at all it doesn't matter how much engine oil you put on it is not going to affect your plants don't worry if you spread it on the lawn or you get it on plants it is not going to affect it so this is how to preserve your fence for the next 20 25 years a gallon of oil per panel a week later colors returning nothing's coming off it's all gone into the wood the fence i erected some 25 years ago when i first came to this lovely property and it was second hand when i got it it came off a, a building site that I was working on at the time. It was put in here. I've soaked it in old engine oil at the time. And here we are 25 years later. Still solid.